Hello, and welcome back to Rogue Legacy. We're going to delve a little deeper into the castle today. Okay, so let's get a new hero chose here. Um, I haven't played the knaves yet on here. I, I have paladins before. I didn't use their block ability, though, so I guess nobody's ever seen that. Um, let's see. I'd like to know how much health I have, but that's still not the worst thing. It's not that watching my health is going to help me at all. Um, remembering things with extreme clarity is not bad either. Let's me know what enemies were in a room that I entered into, which is great. Um, sure. Lady Antoinette will be our choice here. And I have 10 gold, so nothing to upgrade there. Can't afford anything at the smithy. And we'll talk to Sharon, give him 10 gold, why not? And move on. Later you'll give him hundreds of gold, and it just feels worse and worse as you go on. But you can smack through all of this stuff, and... Later you'll, you'll get more money as you go, too. You can upgrade the amount of resources and riches you get. Okay. Let's get past those spikes and move on a little bit further. Uh, I'm going to check out what's up here. Frost Mage isn't too bad. They're not as hard to deal with as the Fire Mages. And those eyeballs can be a little tricky sometimes when you have a lot of them, but if it's just one or two, they're really not too much of a problem. So I'm, I think I'm getting a little better here. Just picked up 100 gold. It's not too bad. Took care of those paintings. I'm looking for some more wall chicken. Um, okay, nothing else to break in here. Let's keep on going up. Okay. Oops. That wasn't the best. Oh, I just missed. All right. Um, getting to a point where I have a double jump or a dodge would be much better, but I'm, I'm going to have to fight through a lot of deaths to unlock all of those things. Um, all right. A... Yeah, let's go with the Barbarian. I wasn't utilizing the block to my fullest. I do have enough to get some armor upgrades, so that'll do a lot of damage reduction. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually purchase one of those. So I'm going to exit out of here, talk to this guy, and let's look at... Those just give me magic up. This gives me health and mana. This will give me damage. So let's do health and mana, 150, 250 for the sword, let's see what these are, 200 for that, so, well I probably could have spent that elsewhere, but, Oop, I didn't mean to jump up there, let's make sure I equipped, okay, that's equipped. And give him all of my gold, that greedy, greedy monster. Whoa, what is going on here? Oh, that's right. I have the, uh, the one. So everything is the matrix. Oh, Jesus. Jump back, hit him again, get the coin, missed the jump. Uh, this is pretty interesting. I haven't seen this. I, I think there's been a couple updates since I played it the first time. Oh, and I apparently have uh, stereo blindness, so you can see I I flip like a two-dimensional character when I do that. So 
So let's get through a bunch of these enemies. It's not really necessary to take these guys out. But I'm gonna do it. I'm not sure. There's a way to get up there, I am sure. But I don't know what it is. This might be one of the... You need to be tiny and jump through the top hole up there. Uh, but either way, it's no big deal. Oh, here, here's the carnival. I am terrible at this. Hi there. Care to test your dexterity? Only get one shot, but it's free of charge. If you succeed, I'll give you a nice reward. Ten daggers to destroy eight targets? Give it a try? Sure. Um, nope. Already missed. Well. I can't get them all. Or any. Three left. Yeah, I am notoriously terrible at those. <laughs> you are the nine 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 ninth customer. Chance to win two prizes. I love the clown, but he's he's difficult to deal with. I really shouldn't be breaking those. Let's do. Let's just activate this so I'm back here. And there should be a boss up from that. Oh, I am not going in there. Or a new area. Yep, nope, I'm not entering that yet. So let's drop down. Oh. I maybe did not want to drop this far down. Let's see if I can clear this room out, though. Because if I can get rid of these guys, it'll make things a lot easier. Um, that is the good thing. Enemies don't respawn in all the rooms. So you can, you can learn the patterns for most of the enemies. Um, I usually still get hit by everything. That's just how I roll. I would love to get some wall chicken right now. So we got that. Let's knock those down for the extra gold. We're up to 200 already, which isn't bad, but I am about half health. And it's busting through those guys. I mean, if I really was going to play through the game in more of a quick fashion, I could run past all that stuff, but I would love to... This is a bad place to be. Let's not go there. Uh, I don't need to be breaking every barrel and chest, basically, but I'm going to try and get all the gold that I can. Oh, I could do that with a dash. Worth it, though. Look at all that gold, up to 430. Oh, hey, I got it the second time. Let's check out what's down here. Oh, another journal. Hey. Journal entry three. I have paid my dues and entered the castle proper. The devil Sharon has taken all that I own as payment. He's even pilfered my private coffers. I have left my wife and children with nothing. He says it's the price for any and all who hazard the depths of the castle. He says it's fair. It is fair, because all who have entered, none have returned, but I will change that. I will be victorious. There is no greater swordsman than I, even among my siblings. Uh, so the guy who writes the journals thinks pretty highly of himself. Ah, jeez. That's a terrible thing. Okay, let's see if we can make it all the way up. Up and out. I hate when they have trap rooms like that, because I am never prepared for them. Whoa. Really need some wall chicken. Or a little bit more coin before I die would be great. We're actually not doing too bad on this run. Uh, much better than before. Nope. 
got to be real careful. Real, real careful. All right. Whew. With 21 health, anything could kill me. Anything probably will kill me. Probably going to die in this room. Uh, but I don't need to. Alright, and so this goes into the next area. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Oh well, I'll just take the teleporter back over here. Um, each area goes to a different kind of boss room. I think this one also the forest? Yeah. There's more gold up here. As you can see by the chests. Um, but it is way more dangerous. Those things do a ton more damage. Alright, so not a terrible run. I got a lot more gold, and we'll actually be able to upgrade some more stuff. So let's choose another air and get to the upgrades. <laughs> Sir Useless, the Paladin. Uh, he doesn't seem that useless. He's just bald. He doesn't have any other... I'm going to place our useless because I think he might have a use. Okay, so I could expand what I'm unlocking here. Get the equip up. I got 760 gold. Getting one of those chests in the forest area is definitely worth it. Uh, we do, could increase the max HP here. Um, let's do this just to get another layer on the castle. So now we can get the Architect, so I can lock down the castle, which is great. So, fun thing about him, the Architect allows you to basically go in, you play through a version of the castle, and then you can go back to him, and for a cost, he'll keep it the same, so it won't change each time you play. Which can be really useful when you're trying to uh, clear out bosses or get to a certain area real fast. And then the Enchantress gives you extra magical powers. Definitely want to unlock her right away, because uh, she gives you all of your extra abilities, like double jump. Um, upgraded mage, magic damage up, nah. Uh, I think I want to get the other pieces of armor unlocked. And you can see, so the upgrade price for each of these, as I spend upgrades, the cost of everything goes up. So... Each upgrade I get will increase the cost of a health by 10, and then each health upgrade I get will increase it by even more. So jamming a bunch of uh, gold into health right away might not be the way to go. Uh, let's get the architect just so I can have them and see what else I can unlock, expanding the castle a little faster. Like the layout of the castle? Lock it down! He is expensive though. Um, attack up is a great thing to get as well. And then upgrade the Barbarian King. So, Epic Shout knocks everything away. It's pretty good. Not, not my favorite ability, but it's definitely good. Um, yeah, let's increase our damage. And I don't have that much left. I don't know if I can afford anything at the Smithy. Um... I'm going to chance it and say that I probably can, or... Hello, hero. Could I borrow your ear for a moment? I'm in need of help. Used to be a very powerful enchantress, but one day the monsters of this castle invaded my dreams and stole my knowledge. They encased that knowledge in runes, and within those runes I... S oh, without those runes I suck at my job. Please, hero, if you find any runes, bring them back to me, and I'll sell it back to you at a profit. Okay, so here I can get the extra abilities, and I am going to immediately um, do the double jump. That's the best thing ever. Nope, I didn't equip it, apparently. There we go. Double jump. So good. And we're going to see how the double jump goes in the next episode of Rogue Legacy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.